What will happen in a drag race between the Porsche 911 992 Turbo S and the previous generation car, the 991.2 Turbo S? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to launch them and race them over the standing quarter mile. So let me tell you about this current generation Turbo S. It has a 3.7 litre flat six twin turbo engine, though Porsche listed it as being a 3.8. They round up in Germany on engines for some reason. Anyhow, it puts out 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. This car has all wheel drive. It's got an eight speed PDK dual clutch automatic gearbox. If you're German, I'm basically saying dual clutch automatic gearbox, dual clutch automatic gearbox, because <laughs> PDK stands for cut on boring. <laughs> Let's continue. It also has launch control and it is quite a heavy car. So it weighs in at 1,640 kilos and it's expensive, 156,000 pounds. <laughs> Now let me tell you about the previous generation car. It has a 3.8 flat six twin turbo engine. It puts out 580 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. It's also got a seven speed rather than eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, dual clutch automatic gearbox. <laughs> but it is a bit lighter. Maybe that one less gear ratio saves some weight because that comes in at 1,600 kilos. And when that was new, it was a bit less expensive than this car, 147,000 pounds. Now, before we drag race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single upload. Anyway, enough of that, let's race. Now, as ever, before we race, we're gonna do a sound check. Rev limiter. Before you say, put it in neutral, the car's in neutral. It's not great, is it? For 156,000 pounds. Let's hear the old car, does that sound better? That is way more like it. And that car is completely standard as well. Anyway, that's um, one win to the old car. But I think things might be about to change. for grip. Blimey, this thing is just nuts! I forgot how bonks this is. Whoa, I mean... Were you asleep on the line? I mean, what went wrong? Nothing about this makes sense. That was such a good launch and you just pulling away. It, it didn't look right. I was going so fast and just watching you pull away. Mental. You know, one of the great things about Porsche 911 Turbo S is, is that you can launch them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again because they're just so tough and they just deliver numbers over and over and 20 minutes later. Over and over again. So let's do it again because we can. Holding on for dear life. <laughs> oh, destroyed. So I think I might have been a little bit Yanny off the line there, which means maybe a bit premature. Sorry, Yanni. Sorry, I've just been a bit of a bitch because you're not here to um, argue against me. Check out in the comments, right? I bet somewhere in the comments, he's, he's come back at me. Your launch wasn't as good or I was a bit early. What do you think, Sam? So I activated launch control and it went on too early. So then I backed out of it and then reactivated it. And by the time it was just getting to the top of the revs, the hand dropped. So that's probably my fault. Track crew, did I jump or not? No, you didn't jump. So maybe then, actually like Yanni after all, my launch was just bang on. See, we're friends now, Yanni. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you can delete that comment. Let's go again. Three, two, one. Oh, that hooked. Oh, he did better then. Oh, this thing, every time you're launching it, it is so brutal. You just have to hold on. Okay, so this is getting really, 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 really predictable now. It's the same thing over and over again, isn't it? Yeah, that launch was good. I did get some wheel spin. I think we could do this all day long. This isn't going to be quicker than yours. <laughs>
It's not. So then what exactly happened? Well, the new 911 Turbo S did the standing quarter mile in 10.1 seconds, whereas the old Turbo S took 10.8 seconds. Now we're going for a rolling race. Cars are in their normal settings, so just chilling, driving along, automatic mode for the gearbox. I'm going to call it in, get to 50 miles an hour. Three, two, one, floor it. That might bucked. This struggled. I think I was in like seventh gear. Can I catch it before the end of the runway? Yes. Got him. Wow, that was interesting. Yours bucked when you kicked down. I mean, mine was in like seventh gear or something at that point. So it had so many to go down and it just took ages compared to yours. Yeah, it just bucked and went. It was like a cartoon. The nose just lifted and it took off. You seem like you were a sitting duck in that one. Well, I have got one extra gear, so it has to do a bit more thinking when it's choosing which one to go for, and it's having to go down more as well. So maybe that's the reason. Let's take the gearbox kick down out the equation and try that again. All right, same thing again. This time the car's in manual mode, locked in third, and sport setting for everything. Three, two, one, go. Ah, different story now, my friend. Whoa, look at this. Look at this difference. I mean, this is incredible, really. Right, don't need to go anymore. I mean, for me, that is the race that just shows the difference in performance. This thing is just on another level. It is insane, utterly insane. Next challenge. Brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Oh God, my seatbelt really pulled me. Oh, you lost that. I certainly did. I had a lot of ABS going on. A loss is a loss, I guess. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually had no ABS. Maybe they've just tuned it slightly different as well, made it more aggressive. I don't know. I'm just saying things now. I've got no idea. If you're a Porsche engineer or you know someone who is, maybe they can comment below and just like let us know if they've done some work on that. Yes, we like the geeky facts too, you know, here at Carmel. Now, if you've got a previous generation Porsche 911 Turbo S and you're now thinking of upgrading to the new one because of how this one has performed in this drag race video, then I'll put a little link, should be popping out in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can go to CarWow to check out the latest lease deals on Porsches. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you click on those windows there, you can check out some more drag race videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go and look at the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard to see how these cars measure up and fare compared to all the other cars we've drag raced. Thanks for watching.